Hi, my name is Alan Tao, and I help students to get a mastery in their AP Physics classes. Today, I actually want to talk to you about, is it worth taking AP Physics 1? Okay, is it worth the pain? Is it a lot of you are going to come in and be like, should I bother taking AP Physics 1? And let me tell you why I think for the majority of you, the answer is yes. It is definitely worth it. Now, let me caveat that. You might be like, what do we mean, Alan? What do we mean by worth it? It's a lot of stress, you worry about grades. What I mean by it is if you can go through AP Physics 1 and you can go in with the right attitude, with the right mindset as you approach the class, it absolutely is worth taking the time to go and learn it because the things that you learn in AP Physics are really important. It's important because this is the time where we have to apply the math into the beginnings of real world problems, okay? I don't really care about the word problems that you get in your math classes. They're like fake word, real world problems, okay? Those aren't real world. And I'm not saying that physics problems are exactly the thing you're gonna do. You're gonna go to the grocery store, you're gonna bust out some kinematic equations, okay? It's not what I mean. The skill you're gonna learn is how to translate all the knowledge, all of this math. We spend so much time focusing on math. All of that math knowledge and translating it into something useful. You way to analyze a problem. Because what is ultimately your career going to be? It's going to be about solving problems. And a lot of those problems require math to solve them. You may not realize it now, but it's going to require a good amount of math to solve them. And so you have to learn the skill of taking a vague problem and then applying some math, applying some analysis to it to figure out how to solve that problem. That's really an important skill. And that's a skill that you haven't really had to do before. If you look at most high school curriculum, even if you take calculus, even if you take multivariable calculus, those classes do not teach you how to take a real problem, a real situation, break it down into pieces, and then use of the appropriate math skills to analyze what is going on. They don't. I've done plenty of math. I teach those classes. I teach and tutor plenty of students in those subjects, multivariable calculus, linear algebra, none of them will actually cover that skill of translating a problem and solving it. Now, are every problem solved with math? No, but increasingly in our world, more and more problems do require some mathematical analysis to understand what is happening. Okay, as our world gets more complicated, math is really important. People tell you about this math, and this is what they actually mean, what you learn in AP Physics 1. They don't mean that you can factor an equation or that you have a quadratic formula or you know how to like multiply two decimal numbers, okay? That's not what they mean by math being really important for your future. They mean is when you're faced with a situation, when you're faced with a problem, okay, what are you going to do to help figure out a solution? And math is a key skill that we have to do there. So that we have to use to solve that problem. So that's the most important thing. That's really what you're focused on in learning in AP Physics 1 is not plugging in numbers into equations. If that's how you're learning physics, that is not going to be very useful for you. It's, I got this problem out here. How am I going to break it down into pieces? And how am I going to solve that problem? That's it. That is a key skill, it's an important skill, and that will be so important to you in anything, almost any field, anything that you study in the future.